Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill. Gordon, who you might think is that person, and well, let me take you back with me a long way in time. It's more than a year ago, the last time that I uploaded a video on this most unprofessional roguelike channel on the whole of YouTube. And well, a couple of people asked me in the, in the last days and weeks and months if not that I was going to do another series, and I said, hey, why not? Friday afternoon, nothing left to do today, so let us finally start a new series of Adam. Well, there is a lot of new uh, content implemented into the game since I last recorded the video, and I want to give it a try and check if we can get a glance at uh, one or another of these new content pieces. So let's go. We play in standard roguelike mode, hard mode. I think there is a possibility to make the game a bit uh, tougher to play, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, that kind of ruined the fun for me when I did the very hard settings a while ago. So let's just pick the standard roguelike mode and uh, pretend that that's how the game is supposed to be played. So let's go. We will let fate decide which star sign we get. We let uh, fate decide the gender. We let fate decide the race, and we also let fate decide uh, the class. Talk about the attributes, we also let fate decide about that. So, what do we get? You are born in the month of the wolf. Well, not the best month, but we get a bit of willpower, we get a bit of perception. Well, we take it. Um, we are a male troll, aha, uh -huh, I see. Black hair, black eyes, brown complexion. The parents belong to the middle class, they are average people living in average quarters. The father is craftsman of mediocre talent. Well, that doesn't sound really like a hero, it's pretty average altogether. In your childhood, you were tortured by your cruel parents. They seem to thoroughly hate and despise you. Oh my god, poor little girl. In your youth, you enjoyed the competition against others to the fullest. You were a very active kid. The path was always clearly lying before you. You knew about your destiny since your earliest years. Fortunately, your grandfather supported your wishes. You managed to find a competent trainer and began your studies. At the age of 18, you end your apprenticeship. You are now a fully learned assassin. Aha! We are a male assassin who was tortured by his parents in his youth. Then, um, uh, he got a very strong determination to this path, and I'm pretty sure before he went on his adventure, he probably killed his own parents in his first official assassination mission. Well, interesting character, I'd say. We've got a uh, talent to start with, and uh, <laughs> I'm still in love with Alert, for you know what we're gonna make out of that. But now, we need a name for a troll. Troll assassin killing his own parents. How do we name this guy? Troll man. No clue how trolls could be named. Um, I just take a strange name and call him Boglu. Boglu the troll. We got a little intro here. Let's take a look at that. For six thousand years, the world of Antaria was a serene world unmolested by the forces of chaos. Looks pretty nice altogether apart from this skull entrance into the mountain. But then, take a look at that. But now the sinister forces of evil and darkness has opened a gateway somewhere deep within the mountains of the Dracula chain. That looks pretty nasty, don't you think? Terrors from unknown dimensions flood the world of Antaria and wreck havoc. Spreading corruption even faster. See the, the lightning coming down from the, from the from the skies. Now it's up to you. Now it's up to you to explore the Dracula chain, meet its inhabitants, find the source of chaos, and defeat it, or maybe even join forces with it to conquer the world. Now that's Adam. That's the game. I love so much for so many years now, and I'm very, very much looking forward to get back into the game. So, I think that the uh, interface looks pretty nice by now. That our corrupt, uh, our chaotic alignment up here, our stats, 
25 strength, 25 toughness, that's the strength of the troll. He starts with fantastic physical attributes. The biggest disadvantage is that trolls have a very short life expectancy, so we have to be very careful of ghosts and everybody else with an age up. You got 5 points of protection all year, 11 points of defense value to start with, pretty good. 31 starting HP is not bad either. Take a look at our equipment. Pick first, 2 points of protection. The Odin Gold, the Odin, that is pretty much useless. A heavy gut because Joe's just love heavy gut. And the rest is uh, average. We've got our daggers to throw, being an assassin, it's very good for the start. Two potions of poison. If you need a very tough enemy, you might try to poison them. Raw meat. You should eat the raw meat right now, so it doesn't uh, fall away. Makes it bloated. Excellent. Um, we are 18 years old, so I don't think so. Get a lot older than older than 18. Speed is 90. Slow. Why are we slow? Ah, because we're bloated, maybe. Let's take a look at that. That's much effort. Let's take a look at our talent, that's a lot. The food preservation, which is excellent. The dodge, nice. Alertness, nice. Athletics, nice. Detect that. Very handy. Find weakness. That's a good skill set. What we're lacking is the healing skill. We will try to get that, but it will be... Uh, do we even need healing as a troll with this very good natural regeneration rate? I guess we don't. Maybe we will rather go for herbalism instead. Let's do that. Yeah. That's it. Good character. Should be able to survive the early game at least. So, first, let's spawn a set of low level monsters. Up here in the small cave. Nobody right next to them. Can we, can we pick up those and we'll sell them? We cannot reach them. No list. Is it And there is the lead. Get down, take a look in the black market. So I'm loving the bear. Like I said, please, the money. No, I won't give you money. Now for leader. Lucky the leader. Lucky, the will check the stuff in Syracuse. A want of Grunt. What does the want of Grunt? Never seen that before. Pretty cheap. So maybe it's not a bad thing with the ability for it. Pick that up. But that might give us a chance to rock the shop later if there is something to work. The ring of magic ability is already worth stealing. Potion of water, always good. Invisibility, another one. Undead slaying arrows. Scroll of protection, that's some pretty nice stuff. And I also pick up the one of Grunt and this. We have to drop our unpaid items. Um, play with that. Um, unpaid items. Like that, yeah. I'm not that much into the controls anymore. I have to get used to it again. Let's check how much the invisibility costs 2520 gold pieces. That's quite a lot. But as soon as we get that much, we will definitely try to steal these icons. I want the Ring of Metal Stability, I want the Undead Slayers, so let's take my turn. Can you already take pockets? No, so let's learn it. I like this quite bright for the trolls. It looks pretty trollish. No, I don't want to buy tickets. But I want to learn with the Master Thief. Uh, pick pocket skill that I will probably never use more again. Um, we are chaotic. So we have to decide now do we really want the healing or purpose? If we go for healing, we can take the talent here. Herbalism is maybe, maybe not the most important thing for us because our physical are already that high. We could use it to increase our dexterity to 14 and our willpower to 17. That's not so much. I think. I don't want to grind too much, anyways. So let's do the chaotic ones. Go over here to Hockey Box. 
he could do me a favor, but kill the damned sheriff in Torino. Such an annoying guy. I'll do you a favor if you succeed. Well, we've got the quest. Here it is. Test of Hulky Bob the Crime Lord. Hulky Bob asked me to stay the sheriff of Torino. Yep, that's what we'll do. Anyways, let's quickly visit Torino. Uh -huh. uh, I played one test game, uh, and I already saw that now you start uh, in the right uh, top of Tyrannia's map, so pretty close to the to the uh, food shop, which is pretty cool. It's easier to buy food when you are hungry. We took the tiny girl test. I don't know if you do it, what does it say? Recently, you've been plagued by the attacks of an evil sorcerer. He once was the brother of my order, but now has fallen for dark powers. He's a black druid corrupting the powers of nature and twisting them to suit his darker needs. His name is Keithrax. Find him and defeat him. He has set up his headquarters in a sinister cave to the south. If he return with success, I will go. That brings me to one point that I didn't realize at first. The quest we got from the Crime Lord is just a sheriff. He didn't ask us to slay the healer, so maybe we have a healing, we have no chance, or being a troll, we have no chance to learn healing. Are you convinced then? I think so. Now she has a healing quest. Which we'll probably do. Where is uh, the sheriff? Listen, Kranach the Raider is roaming the countryside. He's a nasty raider out on pillage. Slay him and you'll receive a nice reward. I that. Abide by the laws and I will be friends. You know, he said bounties on the heads of criminals. Bring him in. Yeah, we will check that. Maybe we will become a good troll. Maybe we will stay chaotic. Rin, the village elders, the last person I want to talk to. He has been doubled by dark forces from the west. Old stories speak about a strange cave in the central western area. You might want to go there. But he feels we should earn more experience before you venture into the dark region. Aye, life is hard these days. Monsters, wars, and dangers around. So, that's it. Let's go. We have a pretty strong character, even on the first levels. So, I want to take a risky start and enter the puppy cave. If we manage to do that, to find the puppy, we might go for an early landing change. Oh, threats. Can we drop these threats? Hope they don't, uh... Oh, hope they don't, uh... Poison us? By the way, we already made a new level. Increase alertness. And weapons. And dodge. That's three of the skills that I will focus early on. Level three, excellent. We already had alert. The next thing we learn is Miser, I think. No, we don't get to get our mind back. <laughs> oh yeah. It takes a while to remember that we're really back in the game. Here it is. Let's now take a miser. We need one more level up, one more challenge, three more level ups. In order. To learn Shashanta. So let's see if we can throw rocks at these guys, not yet. First aid. Do we have first aid? I train with throwing rocks to get the chance. Short bow, very nice. We can use that to shoot arrows we want to see at one time. I don't want to use this one. Let's 
Some rocks are perfect. Check out what it is quickly. We've got 4 points of dex and knife. Pretty good. 3 points and 200 weapons. Not bad either. 4 points of throwing daggers. But I want to. Oh, um, uh, okay. 2 of those. We've got the ants. Can we kill the ants with this? Ah, an ant box. Let's eat that right now. The fire stuff makes you throw up. That means we are now resistant to acid. That will help us a lot in the root test. I will die rather quickly. But I want to save the puppy if I can. Level 4. Okay, alertness is not broke anymore. So right now, I take athletics just to get the bonus to the physical stuff of the dodge. And we also take some points and we find weakness. Nice, nice, nice. But, uh huh, I have a weapon. Yeah, I want to go for 200 weapons. I kind of doubt it. You could also just use the dagger. Maybe the dagger and the shield is better. Yeah. Use the dagger and the wooden shield to make the point of protection. Uh, dagger shield uh, still is good enough to make it work. The damage should be absolutely okay. Oh, okay, okay, we are blinded. Let's see. A wipe our face. Okay, that was the mud thing. So that's the point of uh, appearance, which is uh, not the biggest strength of the troll, anyways. Although, you look at this beautiful face. Oh, yeah. Nice guy. Sharp dress as well. Crude knife is probably better than the dagger. Let's check it out. 1, d 3, plus 2. Definitely better damage. Off and open it up. That's a small shield, I think. That's going to the range, the range of our uh, rocks. Page, I think. Pretty nice if you got those pops. Did he? Did he? Did he? Yes, let's eat it. Can you, can you read now? Oh, that didn't get lit from it from that. We had no chance to bless it. But that luck. That would have been great if we learned literacy at this point. Where is Good. Down to the next level. That's the cavernous level. We have to get through here quickly. We definitely don't want to get swarmed by enemies. Let's think of it. We learn the stairs. There's another thing for that thing. Uh, come on, Victor, follow me. I'll take you up with me. I want all three of you with me. Or at least with you. One thing away. Maybe that messes up our, our quest that we aim to do, but I don't care. I think uh, teleportation control is more important than that. Don't follow me to the stairs, you can just uh, die quickly now and uh, deal with the big dogs on the way back up. That's a 
Dacă te încerci să o faci, nu vezi sens că îmi place și dacă asta o să faci și astfel așa. Ani mică alta. Inside the cavernous labyrinth. If we manage to change our alignment, that's an excellent chance to go for an early crowning at the crowning. So, next level though, we are on the bottom level, and uh, as you all know, there is a lesser vault on this bottom level. Let's see if we can hear that. So it's an off vault or an under vault. My goodness, twice, twice. Nice boost or damage output. Because that's the vault already, we can undead. It's good, that's a rather easy vault. Sadly, we don't have. Uh, oh, whoa! Nice! That's an adamantium girdle. Three points of protection. Will you collect go? Leather amulet, ring. Wow! Holy cow, that's some loot here. Let's uh, directly use go as well. It's code of protection, boosting our protection up to 12 points now. Wow! Dudes, we are getting a boost for our other game here. That's our, our buddy, apparently. Do you have watches? No, you don't. I don't have exactly in there. I want to see if we can save the, the puppy. The next underthrown. Ah, it's step off. That's it. Dropping another bond. That's good. An adamantium dagger. Let's check it out. It's uh, most likely better than everybody. Uh, and then next up. Here it is. Adamantium dagger. 1d4 plus 5. Nice, dude, we are really lucky. Maybe the game knows that I didn't play in a while and then we have a chance to, uh, <laughs> to play a longer series. Who knows, who knows? Where's the puppy? Come on, puppy. Even if it's dead, we should at least find the box. Adamantium girdle, adamantium dagger. Oh, we lost a couple of those guys. Big sad. Not too bad. Here's the puppy, and as you can see, it is still alive. So let's go. We will try our best to become a a good troll, or at least a, a neutral troll, and save this puppy. Come on, puppy, follow me. We have to be quick now. Wrong direction. Mm, on rocks, good. Directly head up here. The small corridors are the best places you can get to play the puppy. Run, run, run. Should know. Let's do little damage. Okay, that was the biggest uh, danger for the for the puppy. Okay, we have to kill the thing, but now I don't mind. I don't uh, come on, puppy. There's still at least one thing for the light here. So let's stay careful. So that's, uh, and the okay, box. Okay, Take care, take care, I don't want you to fight. Just stay behind me. So make up that I'm already getting hungry again. Run. Get away. Stay away from my doggy. Be aware that every ant who gets close to my doggy will die a very painful and bloody death. Level 6, that means now we should finally 
after clicking OK, colorless uh, dot uh, time because so finally get Kajanta. Also, it has copper bracer, which is pretty cool. That's braces of protection. Our protection is already boosted up to 14 points. And level 6. Excellent. Truly excellent. And we successfully saved the puppy. Okay, puppy run. There it is. Let's talk to the tiny girl. He says thanks for getting back me, puppy. You is true hero. Take this. Getting a bit of candy from the girl. And of course a boost to her alignment, which will make it a lot easier to convert to neutral alignment, which we will try to do very, very soon. Anyways, before we do that, we have no uh, can counter anymore. So let's quickly do the beginner's dungeon for a bit of extra loot and experience. We are st oh, we're starving. And oh, let's run here. Let's, let's quickly eat something. What do we want to eat? Start with the last version. That reminds me. How did we get to the options? Thing? I want to make the note for starving a lot bigger. There was a way to do that. Also, mm, maybe here. Um, one, no, that's not it. Configure input, no, configure audio, frame rate, grab a screenshot, the changes. I don't know how that works. Any specific, maybe? Mm. Dudes, if any one of you knows how I can increase the size of the starvation warning, please let me know. I want to do that. I told you I did a test run. The test run went very, very well until my character on experience level 20 starved to death on the way back up from Dwarf Town to Dark Forge. That's really tricky. These situations where you think there is no danger, you don't really pay attention, suddenly you start to death. Biggest death threat for my character setup. So if you know how to uh, increase the size of this hunger window, please let me know. I press the down press. And then uh, explore the dungeon from the bottom up to the top. There's no way to auto explore that I, uh, I looked it up and I forgot it again. Maybe I, I, I checked it up, uh, I checked it out after the. Oh, ooh, doppelganger, it's an ordinary married doppelganger. Oh, yeah, I just done it again. Well done. Mr. Overflow. You died to a doppelganger thing like this. By the way, I didn't uh, check if the sound settings are okay now. I hope that's everything, that everything's fine in that regard. I'm also recording with a new headset that I never recorded anything with so far. So, uh, fingers are crossed that the sound is halfway enjoyable. If it's not, well, I hope we have a long series to check it out. So. Ordinary doppelganger. Especially with all the, the settings, completely chaotic and probably bad. It reminds me of the early days on the channel. Again. To, to figure everything out and uh, nothing worked in the first time, pretty much. Gives me a bit of a nostalgic feeling to be hungry again. I really, really have to keep an eye on that. Okay, that's left it. But, uh, iron version. Oh, uh, restroom full of art. Let's just kill them quickly. Okay, the off two came with some damage. The remaining art definitely not hardly. So 
get it to work at all. Kind of key, invisibility pop. That means now we are ready to, to rock the shop. That. Something else that I didn't want to. Cross. Not good. Not good. This is that. That. That means we won't start with that the next turn. Ordinary smash here? Yeah. with my strong rocks, I want to train that it's just level 1. I guess it's already level 5. It's more than okay, but uh, strong rocks. Yeah, it's still working better, but yeah. I guess there's some enemy with strong rocks. So, let's go to the upstairs. The shortcut to go to the upstairs is pretty handy. I just press W and then the key for walking upstairs and it uh, directs me directly to direct the upstairs. Did I see a metal cap there? Yeah, I think I saw a metal cap. We'll pick that up for another point of protection value. Okay. Take the girl as well, yes. That's a girl of strength, but I'll put it that one. So we got a metal girl. Drop the rope. Nice if I have food with us. And that's not the problem. Having food is one thing, but eating the food is a completely different thing. Just by the way, while we are just walking around here, um, you might be wondering did I not play any video games at all in the last year? I did from time to time. The game that I mainly played was not Adam, but rather another very nice game, Dungeon Crawl Stone Creek. I actually managed to become a greater player in Dungeon Crawl uh, during the last year, which means I won each, uh, each class and each race at least once. Maybe I'll show that to you at uh, some point. Uh, yeah. Then we go in uh, run on the channel and on the channel as well. So I want to steal it, but so let's go around the corner. Maybe it's this way. Ring. The place of invisibility. Not see if we can see them there. Did you see us? Very good. What's most important? Ring of magic. Let's see that first. Let's see the slayer arrows. The ones that we don't know yet. In this pot, the water. The uh, spirit of protection. Stop just. And now let's just walk around and see if we can see more stuff that we develop. We're not seeing. Watch your fingers. Okay, now we saw it. So let's drop whatever we just picked up left. Ah, that's it. I mean, that was just pretty expensive. We can sell the rest, though. So, let's, uh, let's drop the, uh, what's the first set of the leather armor or the, the first? I think the leather armor is lighter, so let's take that. Yeah. Drop the first. Uh, the I think I'm not going to use the I guess I guess that is the knife. Drop the 
luck and the heavy stuff up as well. Money, I think. How much do we have now? Uh, spend some time with Barnabas to stop the people. Yes, why not? Look around, but don't forget to pay. Just checking for a bit. And we successfully robbed the shop. Nice job. Excellent. But now, let's continue. Could take for more than half an hour, but I don't care. Uh, you play a longer episode. I want to play a bit more through the early game, and uh, <laughs> it's record anything, anything with so much time. I hope you will, you will forgive me. Like right around there, we should be able to do that without bigger trouble. Okay. And now, let's go finish the top. Okay. Level by level, now we go down slowly. Level up a bit. Yeah. I'd love to get a glass one uh, in order to safely uh, convert, the, convert the neutral alignment. It's a bit risky to do that in the, the Vermis level, otherwise, we always have to make uh, somebody sneaks in and sacrifices us. It sucks quite a lot. Value level six, very good equipment in general. These levels are far from dangerous. So as many of these monsters as they throw at us, no problem at all. We found the light crossbow again. The first crossbow weapon, the arm team, no problem dropping some scurry. Good weapon. Or at least that's what it's like. Another one that we did not yet uh, store completely. Right now. Another dark room as well. I don't want to risk getting in there. The benefit and gravy from the great physical stats of the of the show. We even got a bonus point in strength on the way. Didn't realize when it happened, but I'm glad that it happened. The bathroom again, join us to Vienna. But then let's be the room. Go down to season four. Um, this is the level we already started from the UK, I think, so now we can see. Not bad, but I don't know what it is, I'm not a... 
Anyways, <laughs> so I'm gonna kill you. No, somehow I'll run now. Oh, excellent. Not too bad, and you won the hard part. What a drop. I don't know what that is. Third one. That's of the item you can Silver one. One of light. Iron with one. That is purple. I don't know what that was. Obsidian one. Poison. Ah, uh, I killed it. Yeah, okay. I kept Kama as uh, right now. Yeah, kill this guy. Okay, we won't get the R Ring of the Master Cat in this run. So sent it between two cats early on. That's what happens. I don't care that much. We will just kill Cat Lord when we finally meet him. Advantages that we don't have to care about that anymore from now on. Unfortunately, we won't kill the cat out because that would just uh, uh, recklessly slaughter every cat I encounter, so uh, better avoid fighting them. Do I just pick up something there? So I think I just care as much as the radar. Now let's see if we can change our alignment. Alertness. Touch. Wanna give it a try. Sacrifice one, two, seven, two. What was the button to repeat the last action? Okay. 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 Yeah, that's good. We are neutral now. Excellent. No, that should be enough. Let us now use this chance to go down here, unequip all our stuff. Okay, the first. That's what I want to know. Put that up onto the altar and drop everything with unknown status. Is everything, I really mean everything. Is there a way to do everything at once? Like this. Everything. Oh, that's all my equipment. Well, okay, all I can have on it. Maybe that's it. Pick it up again. What's that? What just happened? Uncursed red gem, uncursed blue gem, mixture stuff to go. What did I do? You're engulfed in a huge explosion. It kills you by 160 points. How did this explosion happen? I'm seriously not sure how I died there. Um. It's the last one. What happened? You pick up this and that and this and that and this and that. You pick up the red gem, you pick up the blue gem, and then it says the mixture the mixture starts to glow. Which mixture? I didn't intentionally mix anything. Well, however, I guess that was the first Aegon run that I tried after a very long time. Fun coming back, and I promise you guys, it won't be the last video that I record in the next time. Let me know, please, what you think of the... Of the settings, was uh, the, the voice okay? Was the volume of the game okay? 
Let me please also know if you know how this character died. I seriously have no clue what happened there. And finally, if you know how to increase the size of the hunger warning, please let me know that too. Very much looking forward to your comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye everybody, and see you again next time.